Hello, my name is Ulrike Lunacek and I am Vice President of this European Parliament. I'm from Austria and a member from the Greens EFA Group. I've been co-president of the LGBT Intergroup during the last five years and hope to be the same in the next five years. In this period, in the period that just has gone by, this intergroup counted over 170 members of the European Parliament, lesbian, gay, but mostly straight, from, all, almost, from almost all political groups who support our issues. As you receive this message, we are in the process of setting up the LGBTI intergroup for the next five years, and I hope will be equally and even more successful in the next years. I really regret that I cannot be with you today, but I do hope that with this message, I will be able to convey some thoughts relevant for your debates. First of all, I would like to congratulate you on organizing this important event. Your discussions today are very important to me, to colleagues, and of course, of burning importance for lesbians, gays, bisexual, transgender, intersex people, their friends and their families. They are, and I say that as a lesbian woman myself, we are citizens like everyone else. We have duties like everyone else, and we should have rights like everyone else. However, too often our rights are ignored and even grossly violated. Unfortunately, Lithuania, despite having subscribed to the common EU Charter of Fundamental Rights and the principle of non-discrimination in the treaty, has been an example for a violation of the rights of LGBTI people, most notably with the law on the protection of minors against the detrimental effects of public information. At multiple occasions, this European Parliament has adopted opinions criticizing this law. The text finally did not explicitly prohibit the promotion of homosexual relations, but instead says sexual relations or other conceptions of concluding a marriage or creating a family other than established in the Constitution or the Civil Code." End of quote. However, as has become clear by now, the effect of this law proves to be exactly the same as when it criminalized homosexual relations. The promotional video for the Baltic Pride, for example, was not televised. A book containing fairy tales featuring, among others, LGBT families, was banned. This is something, I have to tell you very frankly, I simply cannot understand. And it is a gross violation of the freedom of expression and the right to receive and impart information. Fundamental freedoms that also Lithuanians are entitled to and have fought for in their struggle, in your struggle for independence. In this European Parliament, we fight against all violations of human rights, also if they infringe on the rights of LGBTI people. And furthermore, we work hard to advance the rights of lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender and intersex people throughout the Union and beyond. Within the European Union, this has resulted in a great improvement in terms of legal protection for LGBT people. For instance, Lesbians, gays, bisexual, transgender, intersex people may no longer be fired from work because of their sexual orientation or gender identity. This has made the work floor a safer space and ensures that mechanisms exist for obtaining justice in a case of discrimination. Furthermore, LGBT people fleeing their home country because they are persecuted on because of their sexual orientation or gender identity, can claim asylum in EU member states. Also, transgender people may not be discriminated against when they buy or access goods or services. However, we are active beyond European Union law. In the European Parliament, we regularly send letters, attend gay prides, ask parliamentary questions and speak out in favour of LGBT rights in European countries. This political pressure often helps. The European Parliament is also very active in making sure LGBTI rights are respected in our international relations. We're experts at being a pain in the neck of homophobic countries. In the upcoming five years, I will, together with my colleagues in the European Parliament and hopefully many of you, 
and hand in hand with LGBTI organizations and our supporters continue the work for LGBTI equality and against homophobic and transphobic laws. Full equality must become a reality sooner rather than later and to make sure freedom and to live a life, also your love life, without fear is essential for Europeans wherever they may live. I wish you all a very fruitful discussion and I do hope to see you at the next year's Baltic Pride in Vilnius. Bye-bye.